All three of the Trentside boat clubs, the rowing clubs, they have a downstairs where they store the boats. So you go down, you go down to a downstairs on a slope, and you come up to go into the River Trent, and then down the banks of the River Trent. There's always then a staircase outside or, or inside, but it's a, it's a staircase that takes you upstairs to a social room with a bar. Because when you're rowing, you need a bar. Well, somewhere along the line, entertainment moved in, and it moved in with a vengeance. I mean, a wonderful vengeance at all three clubs. Um, and you, I mean, at the boat club, you walk up the stairs. They were inside thinking about it. You walk up the stairs, you turn right, and the bar would be sort of to, not quite in front of you. To your left would be the River Trent. So you could actually go and st stand on a balcony looking over the River Trent. Beautiful. And then at the depths of the, of the building, <laughs> depths, it wasn't that big, you had a stage about I don't know, four foot high. Yeah. I remember jumping off it a few times. So yeah, you had a stage and the bands would play or the DJ would play. What bands have played there? Just again, top off, just top of well, your head. <laughs> if you go, if you go to sort of um, to the three of them, because they all blur into one in my life in those days. Um, you had bands, well, um, I've got I've actually got a bit of a list here. There was Rod Stewart was there, Family, 10 Years After, Jeff Rotel, Jeff Beck, Captain Beefheart, Roy Gallagher, um, uh, T-Rex as well, I didn't realise that. Um, Chicken Shack, Led Zeppelin, Super Tramp, Strobes, um, who else? Oh, it, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just, uh, is that it's just, it? <laughs> you see, because yeah, the in those days, they want the bands like to have this close. In fact, they didn't have any alternative. We didn't have a concert hall. If you're a really big band, you had to go to Demontford Hall to see them. You know, if you're a really big band, we had no concert hall, and they, the bands liked the intimate atmosphere. The the other thing, the, the sound. So you've got okay. We don't want to talk about Led Zeppelin. Let's get back to the Straubs here. But what that is that's a small venue to for for. Uh, for for uh, you know for for a big big band, How, what did, what was the acoustics like? Well, remember they didn't they weren't that <laughs> the bands may have been big in name, but they didn't have the amazing equipment they, they you had. I mean, it, it was better than the Cliff Richard and the Shadows had with their Vox amplifiers, but it was it's, it's only one up from that. <laughs>